Do you need roads on your model railroad? Originally it looked like this. But now we have installed a road so we can actually access the structures on our layout. If you want to learn more about how to do this, stay tuned. You're watching the Norfolk Southern Sherwood Subdivision. I'm Harold, thanks for watching. We continue now with improvements to our little town of Sherwood. And we're going to do the industrial area. This is the area in front of us. And you'll see it's bounded by this is the small Sherwood yard. The building down there is Chubb Industries. This is the main right here. And the road that enters it is where those two trucks are parked. And we have here our passenger station that's under development. What I've done is I've made a template. This is the white part. And I've sketched out the roads. And what I found was I have a lot more room than I thought I did. So in addition to the structures that you can see here, I've um, been able to find a place for an additional structure. It's going to be a Waffle House kit from Summit Custom Cuts. That's the east part of Sherwood. We'll show you the west in a moment. This is the other part of Sherwood. This is the west part. And you can see once again the, the passenger station here. The building here is Chubb. I'm sorry. The building there is Martin Manufacturing. And way down at the end, Richard's Foods. The plan is, the plan is to have a roadway that comes in here, two-lane road, passes in front of the passenger station, makes a loop right here to go back, and the loop will have a connection into the parking and unloading area of Martin Manufacturing. And that's why I put this container here so I can get a sense of how big that area needs to be. The idea of using a template I think was a good idea because it gave me a sense of in full scale how much space I had for parking areas, the entrance to Martin Manufacturing, and on the other end the method by which we will get into the area via roadway. So I've started drawing out lines. You may not be able to see them on the video. With our template in place, we have taken the next step. The lines that we initially drew on the template that you saw were an approximation. Now we've done something a lot more precise. We've used a curve and an exact straight edge to cut away the edge of the road paper from the template. So now we have the exact edge of the, edge of the road where this will go. The next step will be to mark that with a line and to extend it 28 scale feet and remove the other part of the template. After we do that then we will have a complete outline of our road and we can put down our paving tape and start pouring the road. After removing all the lines what we did was we took a 28 scale foot measurement from this line and drew in that line. And we made some curves in appropriate places down here by the station. So now we have our 28 foot two lane road marked out. It's ready for the paving tape. We've made some progress on our road. What I've done, we're going to put smooth it over top of this, which is a plaster material. And I wasn't so sure that it would adhere well to the painted surface that we have here. So what I did was I removed all the paint. And now you can see plainly how the roadway will be laid out. The white here, there were some gaps between the two pieces of foam insulation board that I wanted to close. So I put some spackling in there so that the smoothie will not run down into the gap and perhaps onto the floor. So our next step will be to actually apply the smooth. Our next step is to actually apply the road service. We're going to use this product Smooth It from Woodland Scenics. It is a plaster material so we're going to mix it with water just like you would with concrete. Paving tape is a foam tape that is used to outline the area where you're going to put 
to smooth it so it serves as a form. So we'll put the paving tape on the edges of the area of the roadway. We'll mix up some smooth it, pour it in between the paving tapes, and that will be our road surface. We're now on to the stage where we're going to use smooth it. The first step is paving tape. It's a foam tape with, an, with a sticky back. And this we use as a dam or a form for our roadway. So you just put it on the outside of the line. Press it down really nicely. It'll go around curves rather easily. So we've done the inside of the roadway. We'll do something similar to the outside. And to all the remaining outside parts that go around the curve. And you'll notice that we're pretty close to the track here. So we're going to put some extra protection over our track to make sure smooth it gets in here but does not get onto our track. Well we return and we have as you can see we've protected the entire area around the place where the smooth it will go. It's, the smooth it goes right in here in the green. And the reason we've done that is smooth it being kind of a liquid plaster has a nasty tendency to get all over the place and we especially didn't want it on our track which is here and here. So we've done a complete job of protecting the area. The next event will be to apply the smooth it. I'll go and mix it up and we'll be right back. Now for the easy part, we're going to uh, install the smooth it after all this planning and masking. The manufacturer recommends uh, two parts of the smooth it powder, one part of water. I use a little bit more water than that because I like it uh, a little runnier. So the way this works, just pour the smooth it in here. And they give you a scraper. Clear down to the end. Make sure you've got full coverage. And as you can see, it's harder to do on a curve than it is on a straight line. Working time's about 15 minutes. And it sets up pretty quickly. Now you see we've got a couple areas where we're going to have to do some sanding, like right there, right there, and probably around in here somewhere. That's okay, we're going to have to sand it anyway. So we've now applied the smooth it. We are going to let this dry for an hour, then remove all the paving tape and the surrounding paper, and let it dry for 24 hours. We can now see the final result of our street building project. We now have a street that you can use to enter Chubb Industries at the end, get to the train station, and off to the right out of camera, get to the other two industries that are here. No, this is not done because we need to paint the road, we need to put a road striping on, we need to build the Waffle House that goes in here, we need to do some improvements to both Chubb Industries and to the passenger station, and those will be done in future episodes. But for now, the road is in, and we're pleased with the result. Hope you'll stay tuned for further episodes when we do some of the things that I just spoke about. So thank you very much for watching the Norfolk Southern Sherwood Subdivision.